Chris Martha's Vineyard, Massachusetts, which is a Democratic stronghold. It's also home to Oak Bluffs, one of the oldest African-American resort towns in the country. Waters checked it all out. So tell me what Oak Bluffs is all about. Peace and tranquility. I'm here to ruin that, sorry. Oh, yeah, because you're a real him roar. <laughs> Don't talk to me anymore. Have you seen any celebrities since you've been down here? Uh, well, beside you, uh, no. I met Vanessa Williams and Spike Lee. Was Spike nice to you? He was not. What does that mean? Obama was here, of course. Tell the president I'm looking for him, okay? Oh, I'm looking for him, too. President Obama, here back on the vineyard. What's he need all this rest from? You don't think running the free world is not stressful? Running it into the ground, you mean? We are pleased with all his accomplishments, and I think the economy shows how pleased we are. Yeah, destroying the economy is very hard work. He needs to get rest from Congress not helping him out at all. Everybody needs a vacation. Even they? No, not you. <laughs> all I need is just a quick 10 minutes. Don't forget, fighting climate change is very hard work, too. Oh, climate change is real. I like global warming. More time at the beach. <laughs> Overall, he's done a pretty good job. Would you agree? There's actually less people working now than there were when Obama took office. That's a very interesting point of view. Every other week, he just seems to be on the golf course, and a lot of us have just been frustrated by that. Why don't you get out of there and give someone else a chance? What do you really like about this president? Hope. Hope for a new president? Okay, come on. I like President Obama because he stuck to his mission. How's that working out? I think it's working out well. Tell me what you think the president's biggest accomplishments have been. Shall we roll on? His interest in public education. I'm a public educator. Public's not that educated. You ever seen my show? No. No, never. From... Jump Street. I just thought he was a community organizer. We've seen nothing positive. We have people shooting cops, uh, and he's not coming out and really saying, hey, knock it off. Absolutely. Black Americans have not prospered economically. Yeah, we spread. have. Yeah, we have. Well, you have, obviously. Yeah, no, a lot right. of us have. You try to say we have it, but we have. Black incomes and black home ownership down under this president. We cannot put anything totally responsibility on him whatsoever. Still push his fault, right? It's so many other presidents' faults before him, and he had a lot of mopping up to do when he got to the White House. My opinion, he's black only when it's convenient. Get into the Chicago neighborhood. How come we've had thousands of murders? And where's his um, talk about that? Do you think the president has been confronted by a lot of racism throughout his presidency? Yeah, racism is a part of America. When you hear his name called by certain people, they say Obama. They don't even say president. That is just so disrespectful. Did you ever say Bush? Uh... uh -huh. Do you think the president's had a rough time with the press? Yes. Everything he does is criticized in great volume. I just think there's always some type of spin that is always negative towards... And that's not true. <laughs> We're in the no spin zone on the O'Reilly fact. O'Reilly fact of all? I am... Really? Really? Do you think Fox News has been fair to President Obama? I'll plead the fifth. A lot of people in Obama's team do that. A lot of people have been saying recently that Bill O'Reilly is probably the best person ever on television. I think he's one of the smartest. I love that. You know who I am? Yeah, Wally's World. Wally World, we made it. You're Jesse Waters. And whose world is it? It's your world. You truly scare me. I just want to let you know that. Now, the guy with the Trump shirt, did yeah. he get any jazz walking around Oak Bluffs? I asked him, he said, no threats. I can't believe you haven't congratulated me. I found the one black Trump supporter on Martha's Vineyard. Well, it wasn't hard. He had the Trump <laughs> shirt. I know, I know. I mean, come on. But he, they were treating him yeah, respectfully, he was very right? well treated. And the other woman made a very good point. Um, when you address a president, you should call him President Obama, not Obama or Bush Well, I do it for brevity, because, you know, it's a tight segment. Yeah, yeah, but I think she was right. She was I, right. I think that even if you don't uh, like President Obama or you don't approve of him, you respect the office, and I think that was a good point. Um, 
They like you there? Or they didn't well, care? I've been there probably six times. I want Obama to win a third term so I can keep this assignment Isn't going. Isn't that a nice place, though? It's a beautiful place. I, a Oak Bluffs is such a nice place, and so the whole island is nice. Did you see James Taylor? Did you see him? No, on? I did not yeah. see James Taylor. You know, because you've got a friend if you see James. I know. You know what I'm talking about? You're dating yourself. And he yes. loves you. Yeah. I, uh, don't make fun of James. I would never. He made me old. He's, he's cleaning up on a concert. I know. We sent him over to Paris to right. smooth things over. Jesse Waters, everyone. <laughs>